What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'll be going over LinkedIn document ads and everything you need to know to get started with this ad format. So I will be creating a campaign throughout this video where I'm showing you how to set up document ads and some of the different options that you have, as well as some best practices. But I really want to get started by showing you an example of what a document ad looks like. So over here is a company, Corrent Technology, and I was just scrolling through my LinkedIn feed and stopped on the first document ad I saw. And what you're seeing here is this a free IDC brief, learn how to transform your software as a service journey and accelerate recurring revenue, download now. So if I just click on download now, it's gonna pull up this form. Now when we scroll down here, if you're scrolling through your LinkedIn feed and you see download, that means it's a document ad. So this is a lead generation document ad right here. They're saying learn how to transform your business with automation. So if we click on download, they're saying they will send me a free copy of the IDC brief. They want my work email, my work phone number, and it's automatically going to send them my first name, my last name, my LinkedIn profile URL, and my company name. So I enter my phone number here, click on submit. It's going to say Corrent Technology got your information, and it's going to have a download link right here in LinkedIn. So everything happens right in LinkedIn with document ads. Now another example is an engagement document ad. So this is a lead generation document ad, which is what I would recommend running. I will show you examples of both, but I just created an engagement ad, just an example of it. So I have how to grow niche websites, free download. So if we scroll down here, if you're using the engagement objective within LinkedIn ads, rather than the lead generation objective, what's going to happen is people can just scroll right through your entire document. So you can see this is just a five page document. People can scroll through and read the entire thing. So basically what you're trying to do if you're using an engagement campaign is say, we are going to deliver you so much value in this document, we're not even worried about getting your information. We know that after you read this document, you're going to want to contact us for more help. Now, personally, I prefer to just run lead generation because I'd rather get people's information if they're going to be reading a document that I prepared. So with a lead generation, people will only see this first page right here and they won't be able to go through the entire thing. So sometimes what companies will do is they'll give you a little bit of information on this very first slide and try to get you intrigued so you download the rest of it. Once you download it, then that company will have your information and they're going to be most likely to follow up with you in some way, shape, or form. So let's come back over to LinkedIn Campaign Manager and let's go over getting started with creating LinkedIn document ads. And one of the best ways to do this is creating a campaign group because that will allow us to create multiple campaigns within our campaign group, and we can also create multiple document ads within each campaign. So it gives us more power to test different audiences, different objectives, different document ads. So let's create a new campaign group here, and let's just name our campaign group. Okay, so we'll name it Grow Niche Websites Document Ads. Status, we'll choose Active. Now the reason why you wanna create campaign groups is it allows you to set start and end dates and you can also set a start and an end date with a budget. So let's just say, I wanna get started with this campaign. We'll say we wanna start it on Monday the 10th. We wanna run this campaign. Maybe we'll just run it through the end of July. Maybe we have a total budget of $5,000 for this campaign. So we're going to run this campaign group at $5,000 total budget from the 10th to the 31st. So now once we create this campaign group, we can click on create here, and now we can create a new campaign within our campaign group. So first things first, we wanna come into our campaign group. And once we're in here, what we wanna do is click on create and choose campaign. Okay, it's gonna tell us, do we wanna select this campaign group? Yes, we do. You can use a different group if you want to, but this is obviously the one that we've set up. So let's click on next here. And now this is the very first thing. So with document ads, you can choose between three different objectives, brand awareness, engagement, and lead generation. With brand awareness, essentially what you're going for is reach. So if you choose brand awareness, no matter what ad type you're using, it's going to say 30 day reach. That's the key result that we're optimizing for. So when you're running your LinkedIn campaigns and you choose brand awareness, you're going for reach. When you choose engagement, you are going with 30 day engagements. These are basically the main KPIs for your campaign. So with engagement, it doesn't mean that somebody is going to be constantly downloading your document, sending you their information. Basically what you're going for is, are people liking this post? Are people clicking on my document? Are people reading my document? That's the goal. Brand awareness is, am I reaching people with this message? Am I reaching a lot of unique people with this message? I would not really recommend running brand awareness with document ads, that would not be anything I would ever tell a client to do. I would pretty much always go with lead generation. And if you're scrolling through the LinkedIn feed, it's pretty rare that you see engagement document ads. 
they're there, but for the most part, you're seeing lead generation. So the very first example I wanna show you is lead generation document ads. So that is going to be the objective that we choose here. Now let's keep scrolling down. The next thing you wanna do is choose your audience, so who you wanna target. So I have a saved audience here. I just created an audience for blog and SEO, but basically what you wanna do is find who is your ideal customer, who are you trying to reach based on member skills, based on job titles. So basically I just said, okay, people with member skills of off-page SEO, SEO Moz, search engine optimization, and blogging. And they also have the any of the following attributes, writer, blogger, content writer, search engine optimization specialist. Basically who I would really wanna reach with a campaign like this is somebody who's building a niche website, somebody who's interested in building a niche website, people who are interested in blogging because I am gonna try to show them how to take their blog to the next level and what I could do is actually use different language throughout my document ads to try to reach the right person at the right time. So this is just a really quick example of a targeting group that I can use for this specific campaign. But as we come down here, I did a detailed video about targeting that I will put directly in the video description. So if you have any questions about targeting, but what I could do is say, I wanna retarget anyone who's visited my website, try to get them to download my document, add them to my email list. Basically what I'm trying to do is capture people who have been to my website before. I can use lookalike audiences based on things like my existing email list or things like website retargeting audiences that I've already created to try to find people that are very similar to the people that are reaching already visiting my website. Audience attributes, I can use people by the company they work for, the type of company they work for. I can use demographics, I can use education level, I can use job experience, and I can use interests and traits. So a lot of times what I like to do is combine some of these different things to create a target audience. I would highly recommend choosing a target audience. Generally, my goal is to get it at least above 200,000. This says over a million, which is a pretty large audience. If I were running this campaign, I'd probably bring it down a little bit and trying to find some different either member interests or member traits related to blogging, niche websites, SEO, content writing. So that's what I, who I would try to reach are people that are building websites. So right for right now, this is a good audience for this example. So let's keep scrolling down. And now where you actually choose the document ad is in the ad format section. So for a lead generation campaign, you can use any of these different ad formats. So what we're going to do is choose the document ad format and now what we're going to do is scroll down. The only placement available for document ads is the LinkedIn placement. You can't run this across a LinkedIn audience network. So let's keep scrolling down. Next will be our campaign budget. So you can set a daily budget, you can set a lifetime budget, you can set both. Let's just say I wanna set a daily budget. We wanna run this at $50 per day and we will set a start and end date. Start on the 10th when our campaign group starts and end it on July 31st. So we are running this for 22 days. It says our campaign will spend around $1,100 total. So basically what I could do is create five different campaigns within this campaign group, test some different document ads, test some different audiences up here. So that's one option that you have to try to get the most out of your campaign. Now, if we look over here on the right-hand side with the forecast of results, you're going to see our target audience size, but it's also showing over the course of 22 days, we will spend between $430 and $1,100 total impressions, our click-through rate, our total clicks, our total leads, and our total cost per lead. Now let's just say that cost per lead is way too high for my campaign. One thing you can do is try to set a cost cap and say the cost cap per lead, they're recommending $224, which is very, very high for a lead. So you have to make sure you have a high average order value, a high customer lifetime value if you're going to drive leads at this cost. Now, if I'm driving leads for a campaign like this, what I could do is I could say, okay, I wanna drive leads at $30 a piece. For every single person who actually downloads my document, I don't wanna spend more than $30. Now, what you may see is your bid may be too low. So you could always start with a bid like this and increase it as you go, or you could just start with maximum delivery, get the most results possible within your budget. I would recommend using maximum delivery if you really do want to keep those costs down under a certain number. You could always start with cost cap and switch your bidding strategy later. So let's keep scrolling down here. Next is going to be conversion tracking. So what you could do is make sure that when people do visit your website, if they do see your LinkedIn ad, maybe they go directly to your website, they end up signing up for your newsletter, your confirmation, whatever it may be. So let's just say newsletter subscriptions, anytime that somebody actually visits my website after clicking on my ad. Now with document ads, everything is going to be maintained right within LinkedIn. 
But if people do interact with your advertisement and then eventually go through to your profile and they click through to your website and they end up getting some other conversion on your website, it will still count back into this campaign. So let's keep scrolling down here. We will set our conversion tracking. And now let's click on next, confirm our save. And now we need to create an ad for our campaign. So we need to create a new ad here. And what you're going to see is there's support for PDF, PowerPoint, or doc documents. So the other thing is there are some limitations, but the limitations are pretty massive. So I believe the limitations is 300 pages for a PDF or 1 million words. And in general, even if you look at LinkedIn ads, they don't recommend using really long documents for any of this. So what you wanna do is try to keep a document that's gonna be maybe 20 pages or less because you're really trying to reach people not only on their mobile phone, on the desktop feed, and most people aren't going to see a document and sit there and read a 100 page document right there. So what you're really trying to do is create a document ad that's going to get people intrigued in what you have to offer. So let's upload our document here. So if I click on choose document, one thing I wanna show you first is they have a, a preview over here on the right hand side. So if we look over here for my document and we switch this, okay, so I'm uploading my PDF here, how to grow your niche website fast. Now, one thing I wanna tell you is you could see right here, this is an example of an engagement ad. And what people may see is the very first page of your document when they're scrolling through their LinkedIn feed. So if you are creating your document, one of the things you may wanna do is make sure that your document, the very first page here, is a nice big image that will look good in the LinkedIn ad. Because if this is your first page, then this is what people are going to see a lot of times, how to grow your niche website fast, which this may work just as well as this, but you really would rather have something with some color, even if it's very simple like this, how to grow niche websites, free download. So if we come back over here, just make sure that your ad looks engaging so the first page doesn't look like this because your ad is not going to do as well if it's just a black and white document. So let's come back over here to Campaign Manager. We can name our ad, so let's just do, okay, so we'll do Document Ad 1, Niche Website Growth, and we can create multiple ads. So maybe what you wanna do with your introductory text, so this gives us 600 total characters. I can start with a very, very simple ad and just use quick introductory text to try to get people to download my niche website growth document. So let's enter our introductory text now. Okay, so we just have struggling with traffic growth. Download our niche website guide to grow your website fast. We have our document uploaded here. We're going to offer one previewable page. So you can offer up to four if you have a five page document. So our headline, I'm just gonna get rid of PDF here. I'm just gonna do 10 evergreen. Oh, this is actually the wrong document headline. So let's do how to grow your niche website fast. Okay, so we have one previewable page and then we scroll down here and the next thing we can do is attach a form to our document ad. So what we can do now is create a new lead gen form and I can keep this one really simple. So we'll say our niche website form and basically what you would wanna do is if you're setting up something like this, if somebody downloads my document, what I would wanna do is follow up with them. This would work very well if I have a course on my website for how to grow your niche website. Maybe I'm selling my course for hundred dollars, maybe it's some type of membership deal. Then if I'm driving leads, like I said before at $30, then hopefully what I can do is try to convert as many people as possible within my either membership community or whatever course that I'm selling. So obviously if you're driving leads at $30, you really need to make sure that you have a high average order value and people are actually purchasing something from you. So I would have to have a much more expensive course than a hundred dollars if I'm driving leads at $30. But for right now, let's just create a new form. So we have a niche website form. Our language will choose English here. Offer headline, so let's just say, grow your niche website fast. Okay, and we'll do some offer details. So provide some more information about your product here. So I could do just something like, okay, so this easy to implement 10 step strategy will grow your niche website traffic and earnings. Learn how I drive millions of visitors every year to my websites. Okay, so we'll scroll down here. Next is going to be our privacy policy URL. And then we have some privacy policy text. So you have to make sure you set that up here. So let's keep scrolling down here. Lead details and custom questions. So what we, what we actually want from people when they're filling out our lead form. So we could do contact, first name, last name, email address. We could do LinkedIn profile URL. Maybe we want to do phone number. Basically, you want to collect any information that's going to be useful for you to follow up with potential customers. So for me, I could just do first name, last name, email address. You can do a lot of different things here. So work, job title, function, seniority. You could do company name, company size, or industry. 
education level, demographic. So there's a lot of different options here, even as you scroll down, phone number, city, state, province, work email, work phone number. So the more you put in your lead form, the less people are gonna be likely to fill it out. So if it's first name, last name, email address, LinkedIn profile URL, that's going to be basically the basic information that people can give us. So that would be enough for me to use this lead gen form. So that's all we have to do now. And then what we can do is add custom questions or a custom checks box. So if we do custom question, we could do anything and do a multiple choice question where people can choose from the list of choices here. So I could say, how, many, how much traffic do you get per month? Um, I could do something along the lines of, instead of multiple choice, I could do single line input and just put what is your website URL. So there's a lot of different options here that you can use to, so I can kind of figure out a little bit more information about people, whether it's you know what website they're actually working on, how many websites they're working on, where they're at as far as traffic goes, as far as earnings goes, and I can even ask what their goals are, something like that. So for this, we're just gonna keep this really basic. First name, last name, email, LinkedIn profile URL. Confirmation, so we can put a confirmation message after people actually fill out the form. So let's just put, okay, so I have thank you for filling out our form. Visit our website for more information about growing your niche website. Here's our landing page URL, niche website growth. Thank you message, call to action, learn more. So basically with that, for the most part when people do fill out your document form, they're just gonna be downloading your document directly from LinkedIn. They don't have to visit your website. It will be available directly on LinkedIn. Now people can visit your website afterwards, so this is where you'd wanna show your landing page URL and basically any additional information that will be useful to people. So now let's click on Save Ad. And from there, we now have our campaign that's ready to launch. What you can do is instead of wanting, running one advertisement here, just come in here and create a new advertisement. You could basically do everything exactly the same and just change your text, change your headline. You can offer a couple previewable pages. You could even use a different document if you want attach the same exact lead gen form, or if you're trying to test lead gen forms, you can do everything exactly the same and do a different lead gen form. Wouldn't really recommend doing that, but you can try different documents. You could try different images within your documents to see what works the best. So this is how I would launch a campaign specifically focused on lead generation using document ads in LinkedIn. So we're gonna just come back here because I'm just trying to show you an example. Now with if you're running lead generation document ads, if you click on the three dots over here, you actually can't duplicate this. Let's click on show in feed. And this is what your ad may look like. So struggling with traffic growth, download our niche website guide to grow your website fast. How to grow niche websites, free download. And if we scroll down here, if I click on unlock full document, you can see what our lead gen form looks like. Very basic lead gen form, email address, first name, last name, LinkedIn profile URL. Here's our description. Here is our headline. So if I submit this information, people will be able to download that ebook that I created, that guide, right away. So it's only a five-page guide. So people can't actually see the full document. They'll only see this first page. The engagement looks a little bit different where people can see the entire document. Now coming back over here, if you wanna also create an engagement lead generation campaign, what I would recommend doing is definitely creating new ads within this campaign, but let's just come back for now show you how we can set up different types of campaigns within our campaign group. Click on create campaign. Okay, so we could choose this campaign group right here, click on next, and then now our objective will be engagement. So we can actually run our engagement to the same exact audience here. So if I come to saved audiences, I have my blog and SEO audience. So that will completely change my audience here to the other one I had. Keep scrolling down. Under ad format, what we wanna do here is choose on doc, choose our document ad. Keep scrolling down, so it's going to be the same. Our selected placements are linked in. We can set a daily budget. We'll do the same daily budget as the other campaign. And then what we can do is start this campaign same exact way as the other one. So we'll start it on the 10th. We will run it till the 31st of July. Okay, so bidding our optimization goal. Cost cap, so if you're doing cost cap for this, this is a cost per engagement. So this is saying we recommend a cost cap of at least $3.86 per engagement. So if you wanna to try to get as many engagements as possible, you could always decrease this cost cap that you're willing to pay per engagement. Otherwise, you could use maximum delivery. Conversion tracking, still optional, but let's just enter our newsletter subscriptions conversion tracking. Keep scrolling down, we'll click on next. So we will confirm save our ad. Okay, now this is actually easier. So if we come to here to create new ad, 
So you can see this is your introductory text, our document, and our headline. That's all you need to do for an engagement ad. So one thing I actually wanna show you real quick is if we do come back over here, so we're just gonna come, if we come over here to browse existing content, you can actually use some of the documents if you haven't used them in a lead generation campaign. So if, you, if you've already used it in a lead generation campaign, then you're not gonna be able to use it here. So I can select this ad and it will be very similar to the other ad that I just created. It will automatically import my intro text. Well, not the one I created, the example that I've showed you a few times here. So if we come back over here, what we could do is select this ad, but otherwise, if we click on the back arrow here, we click on create new ad, choose our document. So I upload my PDF file here. We will just get rid of the PDF on the headline. You can leave the PDF there if you want on the headline. Sometimes people like knowing that they're gonna be downloading a PDF rather than a PowerPoint or whatever the other formats that you're using are. So you can actually preview your ad here. Mine's not showing up right now, but introductory text, you can do the same exact thing. So struggling with website traffic, download our guide to grow your niche website fast. So a little bit different, but pretty similar introductory text, but we click on save ad, add this ad to our campaign. And now we will have not only an engagement campaign running, but we will also have a lead generation campaign running within our document ads ad group. What you could always do is just start with a couple campaigns. Maybe you want to create two engagement, two lead generation campaigns and spend, you know, $30 a day on each campaign and at, over the course of a week, see if any of them are performing better than the others. Now, when you are looking at your performance under columns here, one of the options is documents. So when you click on documents, there's a few different things you can actually review about your documents. If we come over here, so you're gonna see impressions, clicks, cost per results. So obviously lead generation, you're focused on leads, engagement, you're focusing on engagements. So key results, total spent, cost per result, impressions, and then we have clicks, average click-through rate, download clicks, preview the download clicks, and then there's a viral download clicks, viral preview download clicks, and then displays at 25%. So to go over some of these different things within the reporting, I'm gonna open up a PDF that is available about LinkedIn document ads, their getting started guide. Here are some of the different things you can report on. Total clicks in the document, total clicks divided by total impressions, download clicks, so viral download clicks is number of clicks on the download button resulting from users sharing a document ad to their own network of connections. So if you create a document ad that's so good that people are actually sharing this document out and then people are downloading that from the shared document ad, then that is going to count as a viral download click. So if we keep scrolling down, displays, learn how much of your document is displayed to members, 25, 50, 75%. How many members completed your document? And then viral displays, same exact thing. How much of your document is displayed by those not directly in your target audience? And learn how many members not directly in your target audience actually completed your document. So you can actually get more people interested if there are people sharing your document ad. So coming back over here, that's all the different things you can report on. So if you are running multiple campaigns, and if you are running different ads within your campaigns, you can actually see what is performing the absolute best for you. So try different ads. You can change the front page here. It doesn't have to look exactly where it's like how to grow niche websites. Maybe what I can do is try to change the colors. Maybe try one that looks like this and is just very basic and see how that works. You never really know what ad is gonna perform the best for you. So the best thing to do is test. And this is how to get started with document ads. Pretty basic campaign that I set up here. If I was gonna come in and kind of optimize it a little bit, I would create another lead generation campaign, keep everything exactly the same, except I would create more ads within this campaign, more ads within both campaigns. Keep, just change my targeting. Keep everything the same and change my targeting. Maybe try a lookalike audience, maybe try a retargeting audience. Whatever is going to be the most likely to help me get more of my objective, that's the targeting that you want to use. So maybe retargeting people that are visiting your website and trying to actually capture them as they are going back to LinkedIn after they visited your website. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. You will need to make sure that you have some type of useful and helpful document that can actually promote out to people, whether it's a case study, testimonials, it could be client success stories. It could just basically be a simple guide like mine where it's here is how to improve whatever it is you're trying to improve. So 
Thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.